The Pop Warner Rap Show is presented by Genie. ESPN Wide World of Sports and a day to remember at the 60th Pop Warner Super Bowl. Gilbert Chandler determined to cap off Championship Friday in a big way as we welcome you to the Pop Warner Rap Show presented by Genie. I'm Tom James. Highlights of four big title games are on deck and we'll start with the game you just watched from the Unlimiteds. Gilbert Chandler from Arizona against the St. Pete Silver Raiders. Second quarter, no score. Michael Keane under pressure. Throws to Jackson Delsey on fourth and nine to pick up the first down. And then later, wide open, Keene finds Jace Knutson for the touchdown. They let it eight to nothing. Hit men's defense then stepping up. Dominic Hall, second quarter, it was third and 31. He comes up with the big INT. In the third quarter, late in the third, Zach Burrell gets a bad snap. Nicholas Caldwell falls on it, but way behind the line of scrimmage. Still 8-0 late in the fourth. More problems for the Silver Raiders. Burrill, again, another bad snap, taken down near the goal line, and that would do it. Dominating defense from Gilbert Chandler as they win the championship in the Unlimited's Division II. And look at the statistics. Not a lot of yardage for Gilbert, but boy, did they stifle the running game of St. Pete and Silver Raiders not able to do really too much through the air either. And the first down discrepancy was huge. So congratulations to Gilbert Chandler. Highlights from the Junior Pee Wees and Pee Wees are coming up next. Disney soccer tournaments sponsored by AS Roma provide athletes of all ages the opportunity to compete against athletes from across the U.S. and around the world. From three-on-three -three youth tournaments to elite showcase events with hundreds of college recruiters present, the ESPN Wide World of Sports Soccer Program offers something for everyone. To find out how you can play here, visit DisneySoccer.com. Look at Expedition Everest inside Animal Kingdom. Championship Friday at the 60th Pop Warner Super Bowl. ESPN Wide World of Sports. The championship from Junior Pee Wees. Southeast Dallas and Point Loma. First quarter. Southeast Dallas bobbling the handoff. Jackson Emerson recovers the fumble for the pointers. Moments later, it's Kendall Johnson getting the handoff pulling his way into the end zone for the first points of the game for the pointers. They let it eight to nothing. Later in the quarter, it's Rocco Balistreri, the coach's son, takes it in for the score. Quickly out to a 16 nothing lead, but Southeast Dallas would rally back. And there goes the defense in for the touchdown. 16-13 was the score at that point. But Jackson Emerson tries to put a halt to the Southeast Dallas surge with the big interception late in the second quarter. On to the second half we go, Point Loma. On fourth and seven for Southeast Dallas. Ball tipped away by Emmett Jacobson to halt yet another drive. And then in the fourth, Kevion Williams with the interception for the Wolverines. A lot of defensive plays were big in this game as he takes it back inside the 20 yard line. Still a three point game midway through the fourth quarter. Southeast Dallas trying to take the lead, but the pass a little bit long, broken up. And later in the fourth, the one that would seal the deal for Point Loma. Kendall Johnson takes it up the middle, makes a right turn and is headed for the end zone and the touchdown. And Point Loma wins the championship, taking the title home to SoCal. Let's hear from the coach, Pete Balistreri. Coach, first off, congratulations. It was a close game up until Kendall Johnson's second touchdown. 
What were you telling your boys at halftime and going into those last 20 minutes? The same thing that we talked about, just have fun, but we, we talked to our offensive line. We needed to get that run. Kendall was running hard all game and we knew he was close. And we just asked him to fight and just make that one hole. Rocco led, led through the hole in there and got on the linebacker and Kendall just broke it out and, and that was the difference. And defensively, right, we shut him down. They scored on, a, on, a, on, on an interception, but they scored one touchdown on our defense. I think that's we've only given up four touchdowns all year in 16 games, so pretty excited. Now I know it must be special for you to win a touchdown, but also to do it with your son and also yeah. see your son score yeah, a touchdown. Is. What is this moment like for you and being able to all watch all of this kind of unfold? It's, it's surreal, surreal. I mean, I, I got teary eyed on the sideline. I'm sure I will again here. Um, we're the best Division II team in the country, and I, I don't even know. We made history today. No one could ever take that away from us. So we're, it's, it's unbelievable. Thank you so much, Coach. Congratulations again and enjoy it. Pete Balistrari, a chef by trade, cooks up a big win. Championship game from the Pee Wees, Fort Osage in the Northwest Falcons. First play from scrimmage, Jabrin Johnson with the scoop and the score for the Indians as they take the lead six to nothing. Later in the first quarter, Northwest, and they go to Corey Washington over the defender, makes the catch to tie the game up at six apiece. Still in the first quarter, the Falcons on top 14 to six. It's second and five, last play of the quarter. Mark Evans is there in the end zone for another touchdown and quickly they're out to a 22 to six lead. Falcons kick off third quarter. Roman Tillman can't control it. And Corey Washington is there for the recovery, and the Falcons have it back yet again. Later in the third, they hand it to Samaj Banks, taking the handoff, and he's in there for the score. This would start the running clock. 34 to 6, they win the championship. Let's hear from Falcons coach Derek Lee. Now, I know when you said at halftime, you guys had a huge comeback win against Port St. Lucie to even get here, or in Port St. Lucie, excuse me. But having done that and now winning a Super Bowl, what does it mean to you? It means everything. It's the first time the part had a national championship in 18 years. And um, we're just proud of the kid, coaching staff, the whole part, and the whole organization. What does it say about the will of this team? Oh, they got will from day one, from when we playing 707 to the first day of Ottman football. The will is strong. All right, Coach. Well, congratulations and enjoy it, all right? All right, thank you. <laughs> Coming up, we've got the championship highlights from Junior Varsity when the Pop Warner Rap Show continues. Go the distance with Disney and the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex in Florida by training or competing in one of the many track and field events hosted here annually. From Disney Track and Field Spring Training to the Walt Disney World Cross Country Classic to Disney Track and Field Showcase, get ready for your season or get noticed by any of the numerous college recruiters in attendance. Check out DisneyTrackandField.com for more information. Welcome back. We take a look at Epcot and a shot of Spaceship Earth right down the road from the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex. Well, Hoffman Estates looking to make a little history at the 60th Pop Warner Super Bowl as we welcome you back to the Pop Warner Rap Show presented by Genie. And I'm Tom James and the Red Hawks gunning for a three-peat and a chance to etch their names in the history books. First quarter, and the Hawks punch it in for the score. They let it eight to nothing. Brian Smith with the touchdown. Later in the quarter, the Hawks again. Smith dragging defenders. Inside the 45-yard line, refusing to go down. And then on to the second quarter we go. Ryan Smith, the naked bootleg, eluding tacklers. Nobody there to bring him down. The QB keeper for a touchdown. It was 14 to nothing. Hoffman Estates at that point. 
They were on top 22 to 7 in the third. And it's Michael Diogio taking the handoff, pushing across the goal line for the touchdown. Still in the fourth quarter, and Smith again. Breaking free down the left sidelines. 48 yards for the touchdown. And they have done it. According to our record books, the first three-peat in Pop Warner history, 35-7. And coach, tell us how you feel. It feels outstanding. Unbelievable. Everybody back home, thank you so much for all your support. We love you guys. This team could be once in a lifetime type thing. So they're fantastic boys. The Smith twins. Yes. Unbelievable players. Yes. Where do you see them going in their future and why are they so good? I'll tell you. Sky's the limit for those boys. Sky's the limit for a lot of our kids. So wherever they go, I'm going to be watching. They're great boys, very disciplined, got big hearts, big hearts. Congratulations again, Coach. Go enjoy it. Thank you very much. Go celebrate with your team. Brian and Ryan Smith, incredible today for the Hawks. Well, tons of Genie top plays from today. We'll count them down coming up next. The ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex is one of the most exciting youth baseball complexes in America, where players of all ages compete against both national and international rivals. Athletes can hone their skills year-round through open registration tournaments and spring training programs for high school and college teams on major league quality fields while creating memories that last a lifetime. To find out how your team can play here, visit DisneyBaseball.com. You can watch Pop Warner live tomorrow on ESPNU, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. The game will feature the Richmond Perrine Giants from Florida going up against the North Philadelphia Aztecs from Pennsylvania. Championship game of the Division I Junior Varsity. North Philly has scored over 40 points in this tournament so far. Well, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Genie top plays from all of the Division II championship games from today. Championship Friday, let's roll them. Two and one here, Junior Pee Wee, Southeast Dallas. Wolverines, a couple of back-to-back -back interceptions. First, it was Jalen Hicks with the pick six. And on the next offensive play, DeAndre Jackson with the interception. Almost taking it back to the house. Point Loma would win the championship. And then from the Pee Wees, Fort Osage, the Indians, David Jaquez with the big hit. Jabrin Johnson picks it up, the scoop, and the score. And finally, what else? Hoffman Estates, three-time champions at the Pop Warner Super Bowl, 46-0 over the last three seasons, and they're all doing snow angels out there. An incredible moment. According to our records, the first three-peat ever in the history of Pop Warner. Congratulations to those guys. Here's the lineup of games tomorrow. Division I Championship Day. As mentioned, it starts at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time on ESPNU Junior Varsity Richmond Perrine against North Philly. That'll be followed at noon on ESPN3 with the Junior Pee Wees Far West against Virginia Beach. Then it's Sweetwater taking on North Raleigh in the Pee Wee Finals at 2.30 and we'll cap it all off with the varsity championship at 4.30, the Northwest Raiders against the Santa Clara Lina. It's been an amazing day. We'll see you in the morning, everybody. Have a great night.